The people behind the Rings of Power have probably been freaking out behind the scenes because of all of the backlash the show has faced. I would take a guess they thought maybe initially it would receive some pushback from diehard Tolkien fans, but now, weeks after the story announcement and teaser trailer release, the talk would have died down a little bit, but it's only gotten worse for them, and now people are calling out them for mass deleting 22,000 comments from the initial trailer. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this Bounding Into Comics article. It says Amazon appears to have mass deleted over 22,000 comments from the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power trailer. I wish that I could say I was surprised because initially I think all of us were very excited for this series. We were hoping that Amazon was going to do right by the stories Tolkien wrote. And unfortunately, the more we've seen, the more disappointed we've all been clearly they are not trying to please Tolkien fans and respect what he wrote. No, no, they want to have this brand new take on his work and they're going to change his stories around a little bit. It says a YouTuber named Disparu reports that Prime Video appears to have deleted over 22 thousand comments from their Rings of Power trailer. This is a massive amount of comments, and we've heard about companies deleting comments with specific keywords in the past, but 22,000 is a lot. It says in a recent video upload, he shares evidence that Prime Video deleted the comments from the trailer. Shortly into the video, he shares a screenshot revealing the video had over 82,000 comments. He details in the video the screenshot was from about a week ago when the trailer had 300,000 less views than it did at the time he recorded this new video. He then shares a look at what the total comments look like as of his recording of the video. It's no longer above 82,000. Instead, the total comments now sit at 59,986. It says as of writing this article, the total comments are 60,791, and at the time of me doing this video, it is currently sitting at 61,962 comments. And of course, as the days go on, and the more views this trailer gets, the more comments that are left. So there have been a couple thousand comments left since the initial report of mass deletion of comments. But there are a lot of people calling them out here saying things like 22,000 comments are gone. Nothing sketchy about that or deleting 22,000 comments either. YouTube is deleting comments again. Some people are blaming it on YouTube. Some people are blaming it on Amazon. But I highly doubt that YouTube would just randomly remove 22,000 comments from this video. And we also have to consider the fact that this trailer has been up since February 13th and no one's been closely watching the comments. So they might have been deleting comments this whole time, a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there, no one really noticed or no one really cared. And now we're finding out that they mass deleted 22,000 comments and maybe because they used a specific keyword, a specific term, maybe they were just more negative comments. We don't really know at this point why they mass deleted these comments, but there are 22,000 missing at this point. It wouldn't surprise me that they deleted negative comments because we know they don't want people criticizing this show. They want everyone to shut up, consume product, and be happy. I get that they've spent a lot of money on this series, so I understand they want it to be successful, but people are criticizing it because we want it to be good. We want it to be as close to source material as possible. We don't want non-Tolkien characters in a Tolkien show. We don't want them making changes like not having dwarven women look accurate. We just 
just want it to be good. That's why we're criticizing it. And then you go and do things like this mass delete comments that were probably negative, and that doesn't make you look any better. This was an article from February that I talked about. It says Amazon Prime Video uses Vanity Fair to attack critics of the Rings of Power as trolls. This is why I'm not surprised to see the mass deleting comments because they do not, again, want people criticizing this show. It says Amazon Prime's video appears to be using Vanity Fair to attack the Lord of the Rings fans who have criticized the show for not staying faithful to Tolkien's original work. Doing things like this do not make you look any better, does not make us trust you. And I get they don't really care about fans trusting them at this point because they're going in their own direction, they're making their own changes to the Lord of the Rings, but they're going to lose viewers over it. It says, as is expected in this modern era of woke Hollywood, Prime Video's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power executive producer Lindsay Weber explained in a puff piece for Vanity Fair, the show altered and race swapped multiple characters in order to reflect what the world actually looks like. In the article by Vanity Fair, the outlet reveals the show will include Lenny Henry playing a Harfoot, uh, the Dwarven Princess, we know Ismael Cordova is playing an elf. Lots of different people playing all of these characters that they've diversified. But Weber explained these casting changes, stating it felt only natural to us that an adaptation of Tolkien's work would reflect what the world actually looks like. People are not reading Tolkien's work and watching Tolkien's work to see the real world in it. We're watching it for fantasy and escapism. It's as simple as that, and these people do not understand that concept. She argued Tolkien is for everyone. His stories are about fictional races doing their best work when they leave the ice isolation of their own cultures and come together and we know they're changing the story in this they're trying to create their own new storylines and their new characters it sounds ridiculous in my opinion and the first teaser trailer got a dislike from me if i liked it I would have given this trailer a like, but I didn't. It's got 108,000 likes to 166,000 dislikes with 29 million views. Clearly, there are a lot of people out there who are not very happy over this, and they don't understand why. They don't get it. It's like they do not care, though, about what fans want and why fans are disappointed. Now, somebody decided to leave a comment on this video with two quotes side by side, and I really wanted to read it. One is from Lindsay Weber, the executive producer on The Rings of Power, and then the other quote is from Peter Jackson, and it was an interview from 2002. So, Lindsay Weber's quote says, It only felt natural to us that an adaptation of Tolkien's work would reflect what the world actually looks like. And Peter Jackson's quote says, There are certainly themes Tolkien felt were important. We made a promise to ourselves at the beginning of the process that we weren't going to put any of our own politics, our own messages, or our own themes into these movies. What we were trying to do was to analyze what was important to Tolkien and try to honor that. In a way, we were trying to make these films for him, not for ourselves. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why Peter Jackson is amazing. This is why his Lord of the Rings trilogy and his Hobbit trilogy will always be loved. I know a lot of people prefer the Lord of the Rings trilogy over the Hobbit trilogy. Regardless, this is why we respect him so much, and this is why his films were so successful, because he didn't put his own politics into it. He didn't put his own messaging or his own themes into these movies. He tried his very best to respect Tolkien's world, and it worked and this is why the rings of power is going to fail but that's all that i really had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a like share it and subscribe to the channel if you didn't make sure to give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video really soon